Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm just getting over a real bad, 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 bad cold. Uh, today's Monday, and, well, I still kind of got a little bit. My body's really exhausted. Got it last Thursday or Wednesday night, and then it just, it, God, I was down for the count. Couldn't do anything. But I've been hearing some weird weirdness about down there in California. You guys are having water problems? Uh, I heard uh, uh, they're they're instigating fines if you use too much water. Wow! But here's a little uh, update on the little on the carburetor problem that I had. Okay, one of the problems that I'm gonna end up eventually have is that if I leave the carburetor housing on this thing, I'm gonna have problems with collision on this piece of metal here on the paneling or body body steel. So one of the things that I did is I bought this. Uh, uh, extension for the carburetor from this company off of eBay and I'll leave a link to it down in the description one of the things I'm kind of wondering about is that it's a real simple uh, generic thing but we know you see these little notches right here well this doesn't have that and I'm thinking that this airport right here probably is... I probably don't have to really do anything with that one. Um, but the other one here, I think I might need to pull this thing off and notch that out with like my uh, file or something. But I'm also wondering about this third one that's up in here. Which is uh, what this one here is for. And I'm wondering, should I somehow notch that out so that way there's no air restriction going off to that one? Is that all that important? So that's what this whole video is about. Just asking you guys about that because yeah, I know some of you guys are a lot more into these engines and uh, these carburetors and stuff. Another idea is, is uh, what I'm thinking about doing is putting on some type of hose on here that will come off and I'll have to cut a hole out here and then figure out some filter but I was also looking at if I took this spray paint lid and I cut down put some cuts in it going down then I put in this uh, sticky tape two-sided sticky tape and it'll it does fit on there but then I'll drill a whole bunch of holes here and then stick in some type of chunk of foam in there uh, real porous foam so it doesn't restrict the air at all you think that would work but yeah there you go guys <laughs> this video is not there's not really much to this video I'm just asking some questions about the carburetor and stuff so um yeah let me know if you think that that uh, I should cut those notches into that piece of steel or into that steel and then if that uh, <laughs> spray can lid idea might work. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.